Stampers Kim from StampingImperfection.com. Welcome to my craft room. I wanted to share a, another little two-minute trend with you that I think is really um, kind of a fun little trend, and that is the corner rounding of the bottom of the cards. Now, I've rounded both corners on the front and back of my cards. Some people will round the two opposite corners. Some people will, will round just one corner. Some people will round all four. That's completely up to you. I just used my little um, corner rounder, and it works. it's pretty simple to use. This is the Project Life Corner Rounder. When you flip it over, it does take a little practice, I think, to make sure you're always getting that tip. I slide it all the way till it hits the bottom, and to make sure you're kind of getting an even amount of cardstock, so it's sort of centered in there. You might want to take a Sharpie marker and put a dot when you have it exactly where you want it, so that every time you get it in exactly the same place, and you just push and you get a cute little corner. So very simple. If you don't have a corner rounder, this is a nice little corner rounder. Um, and I kept this card super simple. I used Lost Lagoon to do my sentiment from the many merry stars and then I used the silver encore ink with a rhinestone in the center also from many merry stars so this is about the simplest quickest card I've ever made but still I really like the way that card looks and I love it with the rounded edges so I'm practicing restraint in my card making today which is really very difficult so now I want to take I'm using um, for this stamp set or for this card Again, I rounded the bottom edges. This is four and a quarter by 11, and I scored and folded it at five and a half. And this time I'm using the letterpress winter. I love this. I'm going to use this large, this is much larger than it looks on the front. I'm gonna use this big scroll. It's almost like a snowflake. It, and it almost could, you know, you could use this all year long because it doesn't really have to be like wintry, although it feels wintry. And I'm going to use the Season's Greetings, and I'm going to use the Lost Lagoon, and I'm just going to just layer one on top of the other. So I'm going to first stamp the larger of my two images in Soft Sky. It's a really nice light blue. Sometimes it's, it's so hard to actually even see it. I feel like I don't have this inked up at all. It's so light. And hopefully I'm centering it in the card. I like it a little toward the top. I'm not sure I got the sun straight. Not bad. Then I'm going to take a slightly darker blue. This is Lost Lagoon. These are Stampin' Up! ink pads along with the Season's Greeting. This one it's nice and easy to see because it's a darker color. I don't know if you can see this, but when you ink it up, um, when it's inked well, you can actually, it looks like there are bubbles there, and I ink them by kind of patting them, even on the new ink pads. I'm going to try to center this, and I'm going to put this down, and what I like about it is that you see the ink kind of suck into the paper, and be careful not to rock your, your um, clear block, just like always, but there's another very simple card. I could add some rhinestones. What I probably will will add is some ribbon because we have some beautiful Lost Lagoon taffeta ribbon. I might leave it just like this just to force myself to do something that's very clean and simple. But you can see the little rounded corners just add a little something extra to that and it almost allows you not to feel compelled to use something extra although it's hard to make a card without a bow. So thanks very much for watching. Stop by my blog at stampingimperfection.com. Make sure you're on the mailing list for more ideas. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tips, tricks, and ideas. And please like this video below and share with your friends. Thanks very much for watching.